Welcome back to Sports Tonight. He seemed to come on stronger toward the end of his rookie year. Two sacks in the last five games. Baby steps. For a baby, relatively speaking, in the NFL. 2017 Cowboys first round draft pick Taco Charlton goes one on one with our Brooke Shoemaker in Oxnard as we continue to go camping in Cali, powered by McCombs Ford West. All right, much cooler of a day. How are you enjoying this weather compared to the Texas heat? <laughs> I'm loving it. I mean, that's why I'm always out in California in the offseason, well, Los Angeles, but um, like I said, you can't beat this weather right here, especially <laughs> training and uh, practicing. And I know I was just asking you about your time at Michigan. You grew up an Ohio State fan. What was it like playing in the maize and blue? Um, I mean, I loved it. Uh, it ended up turning out well for me, uh, something that I go back and do all over again. But uh, like I said, uh, I still love my city, still love the city of Columbus and what it does for me. But uh, like I said, uh, I always love Michigan and Ann Arbor too. Second year back in Oxnard, how does it feel being back? Uh, it feels good. I mean, this time I'm not a rookie, so I'm not wide-eyed and running out here, you know, thinking what's going on. I know everything, so I'm more comfortable, and, uh, you know, I'm happy to get this camp going. Yeah, what do you think the biggest difference is now that you do have that year under your belt? Uh, definitely comfortability. Comfortability, just experience, having that experience and knowing uh, what was going to come and uh, things like that. And a whole offseason uh, to build off of last season is definitely a blessing. Demarcus Lawrence had 14. He led the league with 14 and a half sacks last season. What have you learned from him? Um, I learned a lot. I mean, we uh, train together in the offseason, so just picking up on him and us working together. We push each other a lot. We talk trash 24-7. Um, <laughs> so um, edit the part of me about me saying I learned a lot from him because I don't want him seeing that. But like, so I, that's just slam. But, yeah, I learned a lot from him. Uh, he teaches me a lot. We push each other a lot. So it's always fun. And we go, we come out here, we do the same thing. We compete and we still go over things on the sideline to get things going. Throughout these next couple of weeks, what do you hope to improve on the most? Um, uh, just like I said, just working, working. Uh, what I did in the offseason, just working out in live, in live scrimmage and live drills and everything like that. So going against another person in the offseason line where I can actually work on everything I've been working on offseason is uh, definitely something I look forward to. There's been a lot of talk about how young this team is. What do you think the key areas are for this team to be successful in the 2018 season? I mean, the thing about us is we're young and we're hungry. That's a, that's a good thing about a young team. You're always hungry to prove to themselves to, uh, you know, show the, show the league what we, we can do. Uh, like I said, we got a, a lot of young guys. We're running out here. We're running wild and uh, having some fun and, like I said, getting to the ball. And with that, are there any concerns with how young the team is? Uh, I don't think we have any concerns. I don't have any concerns. Like I said, we have enough leadership and enough experience to, to guide the, the young guys, whether it's uh, Tyrone, whether it's Sean, whether it's Demarcus, whether it's you know uh, the guys in the back. That's you know the vets in the back. So we have enough veterans to, to lead us the right way. And then like I said the young guys were hungry to prove ourselves and uh, work hard. We know that David Irving is suspended for the first four games. How do you think that will affect the defense? Um, I will definitely miss his presence. I mean, he's a big factor, you know, having what, seven sacks, seven games or seven, eight games, whatever it was. Uh, he's a big factor for us, and he's going to help us a lot when he comes back. He always does. Uh, he said you can't match his size and what he does on the field. Like I said, so I'll be happy to have him back. And with that, Randy Gregory is mm -hmm. back. I know it's probably going to take him a little bit of time to get back into the rhythm of things, but how do you yeah. think he's going to benefit the D-line? Oh, he'll help a lot. He's uh, fast. He's, uh, you know, he's young. He's another young guy, too, so he's hungry. He's hungry to get back out here and prove himself. Um, like I said, he's happy. I'm happy to have him back. Everybody's happy to have him back to have another, you know, guy to help us in a room. And uh, like I said, we're excited. How far do you think the Cowboys can go this season? Uh, we can go as far as we work forward to. I mean, we work hard. We can go all the way. Uh, we just got to, you know, show it on the field. Keep working. Brooke, thank you very much. Tomorrow, Marcus Floyd sits down with Cowboys defensive mainstay lineman Tyrone Crawford, part of our Camping in Cali coverage, which will continue to bring you the latest news and in-depth interviews while the team is out in Oxford. At McCombs Ford West, you're the star. Score on your next vehicle purchase on 410 West at Culebra. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.